Hey, hey, pleasure and good day, everyone. This is Sports for Night News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a preview to the Lehigh Valley Phantoms home opener at the PPL Center in their 25th anniversary season. Of course, the team started as the Philadelphia Phantoms in 1996. Subscribe down below or up above if you enjoyed the content, just so you know. My reactions to this game will probably be coming out late because I'm covering the Reading Royals, or double A ECHL affiliate for the great Jamie Baskell and Yoyf Walla of Nitty Gritty, the channel that I will link at the end of this video that you can follow for some more great Phantoms. Flyers, Delaware Thunder, and of course, Reading Royals coverage. But let's get into this game. Again, this is the inaugural season behind the bench for Lappy after playing, according to Bob Road Truck, 1,083 games in his career, of course. And it's also the first game, according to Road Truck, in 591 days in which full attendance is back allowed at the PPL Center in the first time. And the last time there was a sellout was 594 days ago, excuse me, on Sunday, March 8, 2021. So the stadium's ready to be sold out again. Of course, we had the great game between Team USA and Team Canada yesterday in the women's game where Jill Saunier was in town for Team Canada. Now her brother, Brendan Saunier, is going to get to open the season for the Phantoms and hopefully have some keen success against this Wolfpack team. That's, of course, coming in strong at 2-1-1 one, and one to our Phantoms at 0-2, oh, but to no fault of their own, they pushed the ante, they pushed the pressure, and Philippe Lindbergh, <coughs> excuse me, stepped up on Saturday for Wilkes-Barre Scrin, and then on Sunday, Zachary Fukali stepped up again when it came to the Hershey Bears against the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. So when it comes to this game, and Phantoms just have to keep pushing their ante. We saw Cam York have a good first weekend. We saw Tyson Forster have a good first weekend. We saw the Vets look good on the ice, whether it was from Cal O'Reilly to others that we have in there. Adam Glendenning looked good. Bob Rotruck, as I agree, keeps complimenting him and should because he's a very steady Eddie AHL defenseman and a guy that brings depth at the NHL level. Plus, we don't even have another good veteran that's a very steady AHL defenseman and a depth guy at the NHL level that's already ingrained in the hearts of Flyers fans after his fight, which is Nick Sewer since he's back up since Risto, it looks like, is going to miss tonight's game. So, they don't even have their full bore everything yet, and the Phantoms already look good. Plus, of course, the other injuries that the Phantoms had to start this season on top of that. They already have looked good, already have supplied the pressure. They just unfortunately were not able to get the W only because they had goalies that just outmatched them in that game. Sandstrom and Ursan both play fine, so I'm confident in whoever they decide to roll against the Wolfpack and think they will have a good game tonight because both of them played fine. The Phantoms just got beat last week by two very hottest firecracker goaltenders to start the season, one in a rookie in Lindbergh and another in Fukawi, who's really reestablishing his career so it's just that happens sometimes that's the world of sports that's just what comes to be sometimes and what happens but our Lehigh Valley Phantoms are looking to bounce back this weekend as they open up against the Hartford Wolfpack at home and this is going to be a very fun and very interesting game to follow the goals for for the Wolfpack right now are eight, but the goals against are also eight, so you can score a little bit. Obviously, they have an even there if you can get the puck on net and generate the offense as we did this weekend, and the Phantoms are goals four or two, and then, of course, the goals against are four to have the minus two differential. The Wolfpack have also had 47 penalty minutes to start this season as well, but there's players, of course, you got to watch out for when it comes to this Hartford Wolfpack team. Um, obviously, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if he's still up, but Morgan Barron did get called up when there was an injury for the Rangers, so he might not be in, so that, that alleviates one guy, but you have to watch Brzezinski, you gotta watch, um, Gettinger, who already has a goal on the season, you have to watch, um, especially Brzezinski from the assist numbers, he already has three assists, he can pick apart uh, the defense when it comes to just finding the pass, uh, with the best of them. So you definitely want to keep a lookout for him. You want to keep a lookout, of course, for Brandon Schneider, who's a very good defenseman off of the back end, among others. You also have Hunter Skinner off of that back end there as well. So they have some good players coming from the back end and the front end. I think, fortunately, we're not going to have to face a very good AHL player that's going to be a good NHL player probably at some point in Morgan Barron because he did get caught up when Kako got injured. I'm assuming he's not down again, but if he is, then the Phantoms are going to have to really be able to block out him. You have Bieto, who's a very solid AHL defenseman as well, has been around the block for a while. And then you also have... um. Giotari, who is a very solid um, defenseman as well. So you got to be able to play the pressure, supply the pressure, and play like you did this weekend 
against this Hartford Wolfpack team because they're a very solid team. The Rangers, of course, have a solid form system. So, ergo, their AHL team, just like our Flyers team, are going to be a very solid competitive team trying to develop their talent but also still win while doing so. So both of these teams are very good, very fun, have a lot of good veterans on their team mixed with prospects. So this is going to be a fun game to watch and a fun game to uh, watch when I get back tonight from covering the Reading game to see how our Phantoms did. I think our Phantoms, if they keep playing like they did this weekend, are going to be able to walk away with a W tonight. It's not going to be easy against a good Wolfpack team that have one of the better veterans also in the AHL when it comes to manning the net in Keith Kincaid. And then they have Adam Huska as their other goaltender. So if they have Kincaid in, obviously he's a very good veteran that has had some success in the NHL as well. So that ain't going to be easy, but you just got to keep the pressure. You got to get the guys in front of the net. The Phantoms have the Radcliffe's, the Forsters of the world that are never scared to get in front of the net as much as obviously Forster also is to shoot, but he's just a great all around player. So get some of that net from Pleasance, get some screens, blast it away from the point, supply the pressure you did last weekend. And I think our Lehigh Valley Phantoms can walk away with a win in this home opener against the Hartford Wolfpack. So this has been a preview to Lehigh Valley Phantom's 25th anniversary season, the home opener against the Hartford Wolfpack. To wrap up this video, the only last thing I had to say, that according to the great Bob Roadtruck, our Lehigh Valley Phantoms are very strong 5-2-0 and all time in home openers. And the Phantoms franchise has a tremendous record of 18-6-1 and all time in home debuts, dating back to when they were the Philadelphia Phantoms, Anirondack, and so on. So this is... This is a good percentage chance, too, with how our fans have started the season playing well, just not getting the W, just from the history of how they've been to be able to get a W tonight. So let's do it in our 25th anniversary season and come back strong for the first game at home and beat them Wolfpack. Subscribe down below if you enjoy the content or up above in the easy-to-use widget. Let's go Phantoms and get that W tonight. Peace out, everybody.